It's a beautiful morning, GS Nation. Hey, and we're gonna do another app review. This one is from Wally World. It's a seven minute workout, like everyone else, but we're gonna see how the mechanics work of this actual app. Now, bring up your tablet, hit the seven minute workout. Okay, so it tells you, oh, look, right away, it goes to ads. Okay, so how do I get out of this? Um, there's nothing to click to get out. So let's hope that I can, no, it says download now. I don't wanna download now. I just wanna get out, get out, get out. How do I get out? Can't get out. Let's try this again. Close down the app. Let's reopen it, see if we can get past these, these ads. Okay. So, open up the Wally World. First thing you come to is, there we go. So here's the workouts that you're, you're gonna do. Okay, if you can see, some of them are locked, means you can't move them around. Oh. And all of a sudden there goes an ad again. Okay, I don't want an ad. Oh, yeah. It's not going to let you get out of this ad. You have to watch the whole thing. Seriously? Okay, it's great, great uh, imagery in the app, or in the ad. As you saw from the app, it wasn't much uh, imagery yet. And I still can't get out of this. So I have to watch the whole thing in order to move on. Okay, no. Close down. Close down. Okay, now I'm back to here. Now, while I'm in this area, I can actually pick the regular seven minute workout, move over. I have another one called the Viking workout. Sounds cool, but it's like lunges, step ups. I mean, it's the same thing, just in a different order. So they just moved them around. This one right here is though, is a little bit different because this has um, rolling like a ball. This has, it's Pilates. So you can actually do a Pilates workout. Um, when you actually get into the ad, or the app though, into the routine, you'll actually find out that there's no pictures. There's no instructions. So if you don't know what the exercises are, you're gonna be completely lost and it's not actually finish the exercise, um, the workout routine. So I'm gonna show you the mechanism in the regular classical seven minute workout because that's what we've always done. We know these steps very well because we do them every day. So let's start the workout. I'm gonna push start workout. Get ready. Okay, it's saying get ready, you got 30 seconds to do jumping jacks. Uh, it's not counting down or anything. It's not going on to jumping jacks. So I'm guessing all I have to do is push the play button up here. And there it goes. No pictures, no instructions. Just says jumping jacks. So let's do some jumping jacks. So get your blood pumping, get your heart racing, and stretch out your arms before any kind of workout. Jumping jacks is a great way of starting a workout. You don't need to do much stretching beforehand because this will actually stretch out every part of your body. From your legs, if you wanna do some bends in there, you can do some bends. Use your arms, your arms being stretched out as you go. Okay, so now it's just, uh, I don't know if it's jumping jacks now or we just did them. So let's just do wall sits and when it's done, we're done. So wall sits, remember your, your, uh, your shins you wanna be able to have straight up and down, ver uh, vertical, and then your thighs horizontal. This will make it so you're sitting and using all your muscles to keep your body up against the wall. Okay, again, we're like one exercise behind, so let's do a little bit of wall sit, a little more. When you actually play this app, you'll know that you have 30 seconds to wait before your first exercise, which doesn't make any sense. Plus there's no rests in between the exercises. As you can see, it goes straight into the next one, which is not a good thing because you have to get back in position. And you're using up some of that time in your routine in order to get in position. So let's not do that. Push-ups. Again, no, no break in between. No images, no uh, instructions, and also has a very bad computerized voice. So I'll say right away, this is not app that we're going to be promoting with anything more than two stars. And then with the ads, in addition, it's not really helping itself. But as you can see, they actually just started stopped our workout to show us an app or an ad, and the ad won't even show up. They're actually showing you unlock all apps which means paying for it. So if you wanna pay for it, and I've already clicked on this before, it doesn't tell you how much you're gonna pay, 
just make sure you sign on to your uh, um, your iCloud account and then they'll probably charge you however much because they're not telling you how much. Okay, so I'm not going to unlock it. I'm going to hit the X and hope we can continue with this exercise. Um, or not. There we go. Uh, I, I don't know. I lost the last one. I was doing push-ups. Maybe still push-ups. Let's keep continuing doing push-ups. Remember when you're doing push-ups to continue to breathe. Don't hold in your breath. Now step ups. You're gonna fully extend your leg. So straight up and down. You get full emphasis. You don't have to go fast. Just be intentional. Focus on the act on the uh, muscles that your exercise is using. Squats. Remember, stick your bottom out. Try to keep your shins vertical and your thighs horizontal. Up and down. You can bend over. This won't hurt you, but try to keep it straight in whatever angle you put it in. Don't curl it over, but be straight and intentional. Next one's plank, but as you can see, we went back to the unlock this app. We're not paying for it. We're not paying for whatever they want just to overcome those ads. Now the planks that use you are the ones up down here, but to give a little more intensity, put your hip, make your planks to go up higher, higher angle. Also, as you can see, it doesn't have a count on or a count up. Okay, so it told me to go with planks. I'm not getting this app. So while we're waiting for this app to catch up, we're gonna do some twists, which are not in a classical conversation or classical seven-minute workout. High knees. Also, as you see in all our other apps that we're looking for, they need to have a middle ground where they tell you 15 seconds in, or even if it says 10, 8, 20, and then 10, that's great. Okay, so something to work into, and also realize we're almost there. We can make it just a little bit longer. And then also a count on, three, two, one at the end. That's what we want to do. This app definitely does not give that to us. Unlock your app again. So. Again, this app is a waste of your time. Don't even try it. There's so many better ones. This one, um, unlock. I don't know what this is. So, back to the twists. And now it's going back to push-ups, not the classical conference or classical seven-minute workout usually to do push-ups twice. But let's do push-ups with rotations, which is the one we usually do. Side planks. Sad thing is, this app is not going to tell us when we're done or when we're halfway, when we, when we need to switch. So, there's so many different ways of doing planks. To get the full extent of one, basically do that. 15 seconds, switch over. To give you more emphasis on your arms, also your core, because you're lifting your leg, bringing more intensity right here, right where the joints hit. And, and 
it ended without us knowing. So, I will definitely give this a one star. It's a piece of junk app that basically, they just wanna run ads. And uh, because it's free, they think you're gonna use this app. Don't use this app, we have plenty of other ones. We have four and a half star apps that are amazing. And they're free. Seven minute workout and everything. So, go on our website, check out our reviews, find some four and a half stars. And wait till tomorrow when we come up with a new um, app design or a new app to review. So, thanks a lot. We'll catch you tomorrow. Bye.